Hey guys, Chris Graham here. I have an awesome, super easy, super useful tip for you guys. It's how to A, B compare between two masters or two songs. This is a really useful tool because it lets you really quickly switch back and forth between two songs or two versions of the same song. You could be comparing volume, you could be comparing the EQ of the songs, you could be just comparing the overall feel. This is a super useful trick and it's something that I think everyone with a home studio should be able to do because it makes it really easy to compare your song to another artist's song or to compare one of your songs to another one of your songs. This is also useful if you've done a mastering contest and you've got a couple different masters of your mix that you're trying to compare to see which one you like the most. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in all audio software, Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, GarageBand, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's all pretty much the same. So let's start here in Studio One. I've got two songs loaded in, and the first thing we're gonna do to compare these two songs is mute that first track right there. There's a big M right there that stands for mute. If I go down to the mixer in Studio One, there's also another M right there. There's usually two places that you can hit a mute button on a track. One is in the kind of sequence window here, and the other is in the mixer window. The other button we're gonna use is solo, and it's usually an S, or oftentimes it's yellow, as it is in the case of Studio One. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play on this first track, and we're only gonna hear the second track because the first track is muted. Now watch what happens if I hit the solo button switches to that first song. If I hit the solo button again, it switches to the second song. So this is super duper useful because it lets you compare two songs in real time and switch back and forth. So let's look at this in something like Logic real quick. Logic's a little different in that its mute button is a little speaker with a line through it. If I put my mouse over the mute button, it says mute. And just like in Studio One, there's an M button and an S button down here in the mixer view pretty much the same thing in Pro Tools or Cubase or whatever you happen to be using. So just to demonstrate this real quick, if I hit play, only the second track is playing, but if I go up here and hit the solo button, let's do it down here in the mixing view. Now the first track's playing. If I hit that solo button again, now the second track is playing. And I can feel that the volume of these two songs is, is pretty comparable. And one last thing, let's do this in GarageBand. It's exactly the same in GarageBand um, as it is in Logic. There's a solo button and a mute button. They use their weird little icons right there. So let's press play. So that's the second song. That's the first song. One of the things that this is the most useful for, um, and I think you can get the most mileage out of, is comparing the two loudest parts of two songs. If you're getting masters back from a couple mastering engineers, this is an easy way to compare, say, your master to a professional mastering engineer's master. So one last thing, I got a free gift for you guys. If you are interested in this stuff and you wanna learn more about how to make your mixes sound great, you should take my free mix polish quiz. It's at mixpolish.com, there's a link in the description. And it's like a personality quiz to help you get a feel for what's holding you back when you're mixing your song. It's awesome, it's free, it's gonna help you make twice as many mixes in half the time. So check it out, mixpolish.com. It's totally free, there's no strings attached. Hope you enjoy it and I hope it helps you make more songs that you are proud to share with your friends. Thank you guys so much, have a great day, bye-bye.